When people toss around terms like cultural Marxism, they're surprisingly effective as a pejorative or as an accusation by virtue of their very meaninglessness. Cultural Marxism, as I have discovered, is a very difficult thing to define, a very difficult thing to understand, um, and it's even more difficult to understand it in the context in which it is used. It's uh, apparently some sort of vast intellectual conspiracy aimed at subverting society. To what ends, I have yet to find out. Maybe uh, the people who are employing this sort of uh, philosophy, cultural Marxism, are just plain evil and just like screwing up society. Who knows? But again, it's it's so vague a concept, but with that word Marxism um, as a sting in the tail of the two words that uh, make up the term cultural Marxism, that it leaves people uneasy. There's something sinister about it, something about the word Marxism that conjures up um, ideas of the Gulag or the Great Terror or Stalin or Pol Pot. But again, it's vague enough that you can attach it to just about anyone. I just want to read a little passage from a uh, newspaper that appeared in Moscow around about 1937, I believe, at the height of the Great Terror, also known as the Great Purge, where Stalin uh, disciplined Russian society or purified it by getting rid of anyone who disagreed with him or his, his philosophy, whatever that might have been. Thanks to the Stalinist People's Commissar Nikolai Ezhov, it was with great satisfaction that we, the men and women of the Korbelinsky Red Star Kolkhoz in the Ryazan region, listened to the radio and heard of the USSR's Supreme Court Military Collegium's verdict against the gang of fascist mer mercenaries, highway robbers, traitors, and betrayers of the motherland. The verdict of the USSR Supreme Court's Military Collegium fully and completely expresses the will of all collective farm peasantry and of all the great Soviet people. A dog's death to the vile dogs. We, the men and women of the Kolkhoz, send a huge Kolkhoz thanks to the Stalinist People's Commissar Nikolai Ezhov, under whose direction our glorious Soviet intelligence crushed the Trotskyite, Trotskyite Bukharanite pack of bloody fascist dogs. Now, anyone who knows anything about the uh, period that this took place in uh, knows that the people that went to the firing squad or people that went to the Lubyanka, uh, to Siberia, were almost exclusively self-identified communists, people who believed themselves to be loyal to the state, but were um, purged simply because Stalin, A, suspected them, or B, just wanted to create a deliberate atmosphere of paranoia to make sure that everyone walked around on eggshells whenever Stalin uh, was mentioned or uh, whenever uh, Stalin opened his mouth. It's an interesting way of exercising power, the deliberate use of um, political denunciation, charges of various um, crimes uh, of various thought crimes, heresies, cultural Marxism. I wonder what is different between this crazed, uh, ghoulish passage and calling someone a cultural Marxist. It's an unanswerable charge. How do you prove that you're not something, especially when you don't even understand what it is that you're being accused of? The only thing that we do know is that it's probably a very bad thing. Paranoia is the enemy of freedom, and paranoia is not the same thing as vigilance. Thank you.